We opened uh, in December of 2013, so we're just coming into the end of our third year here. Um, it's, twist, it's Twist Yoga in Lake Oswego, and um, it came out kind of out of nowhere. I was not a yoga teacher. I was a yoga student and living in, in the Lake Oswego area and traveling all over the place for yoga. and hoping that somebody would open up a studio closer to me, and nobody ever did. And so I just kept thinking as I'm practicing in all these places and driving everywhere, like, someone's gotta open up a yoga studio. And one day there on the mat, I said, I'm gonna open up a yoga studio. I'm a very collaborative person. And so this was the first time that I was working and I was the only one. It, it was just me. I was doing you know, everything from accounting and bookkeeping to cleaning the toilets, to hiring the teachers, to doing the interviews, everything. And um, you do start to feel a little bit like you're on a desert island. Honestly, I didn't look at any other coaches. I have lots of friends who have business coaches and life coaches and all those kind of things. And my type of personality where I thought I could do everything, I never really looked at having a coach. Um, but I knew Michael through Jill. And then I saw him speak at a couple different events and took some of his little mini workshops. And I just started thinking that it was it was kind of timing it was right when i was looking for some somebody maybe to help me out i just knew i really needed somebody that i could really be accountable to and somebody who would help me with my workflow process i felt very comfortable with him and i am um, fairly quick to decide one way or the other if things work easy for me with people um, I felt like I could be myself with him. I didn't want anybody that I was going to have to make excuses for or explain myself to. So I knew him a little bit personally, but whenever I spoke to him, I really felt like, okay, I could, I could work with this guy pretty quickly. We have these little comment cards at the studio that we've had since the first day we opened, and they say, good, better, best, never let it rest till the good's better and the better's best and people write comments and notes to us on those and that was how I was get a lot of feedback. Um, and then when I started working with Michael, he has this kind of a good, better, best, um, kind of like a rubric that you work on where you make your goals on where you wanna hit and last year we um, worked a lot on kind of overall revenue there and, um, and it was fun because he really pushed me to put like, okay, I want you to put stuff there that you really think are big far reach goals you know and not to be embarrassed of you're you're putting it out there and how exciting and we reached a lot of those goals last year so that was really oh, that was that was very exciting and and I, I remember when I did the little final report um, like in November of last year and we hit one of those goals and I texted him really fast I'm like guess what I blew it out of the water you know and it was it was just fun to have someone that I could share that with so he really has helped me with like really the big picture Picture, but by getting to the big picture he's done a great job of whittling it down for me into a daily plan so that's that's really why I needed another person personally it makes me more confident it, it makes me um, a better leader he does remind me all the time because it's different owning a yoga studio and not necessarily having employees you have independent contractors and so we work um, collaboratively on a lot of things but he's really good at reminding me that you are still the owner of the studio and you're still the leader and you um, can do things to help other people um, reach their goals as well. That's, that's the biggest joy each day, to have a space that people feel comfortable and they feel part of community and they feel, they feel supported um, is just, it's just amazing to me. And, and so you just are like, okay, this is what I was meant to do, and I just feel so grateful and, and just honored that, that this space has become something like that for so many people. Michael is great. Also, he has a really nice range of clients that he works with, and he'll say like, well, I have this client in California, and he does this, and he's had a similar challenge, and this is kind of how he did it, and this is how he's feeling after six or eight months of doing this. So he has a lot of good real world feedback. His integrity is very high. He's very present when you're meeting with him. Um, he's not on his phone. He doesn't even have it out. He loves what he's doing and I, he's interested in everything I have to say and all my harebrained ideas. Um, and I, I just think he is. I, I think he's just a very honest 
genuine person. A lot of times people, I think, don't think about getting a business coach. It's just not like really, they don't, they think, well, I'm, I'm paying the bills and I'm moving along, but they may not have a plan on what they want to do. I would recommend him just because he's trustworthy, he's a really good listener, and I think that's super hard to find these days, somebody who's present and listens. Um, he's focused, and I think a lot of times when you're someone like me who's doing a lot of different things, you can get off on tangents, and sometimes I can push a conversation a certain way that I kind of want it to go, and he's really good at bringing it back. But he does it in a kind way. He's open and willing and honest, but he's also structured enough not to be a pushover. I, I can't imagine where I would be without his help the last year.